Welcome back, welcome back to Dead In Studio. This EK in the building. Back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the pitch correction plugin in Logic Pro X. Um, this is a pitch correction program. Um, it's like auto tune or waves tune. Uh, I have auto tune. I have waves tune, but the factory logic pitch correction, I like it because it's easy to use. It has a good, uh, GUI and it gives me a good sound whether I'm pushing it heavy for a desired auto tune type of sound or just a minor pitch correction sound. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we uh, start this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video and also hit the bell to be alerted when we have new videos coming out. Okay, so this is the Logic Pitch Correction plugin. It's a factory plugin. It comes included with Logic Pro X. And I'm going to break it down to you and let you hear how I use it and the sound that you get with it. Okay, so first of all, you have a global timing global tuning button then you have a range and a low button a reference pitch then you have the keys which key you want the song to be in also you can bypass the effect or the amount of tuning and then you have a meter which shows you the correction amount also you have the response and the detune and that's it. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. The Waves tune has a little more into it. I actually do own the Waves tune. i pull that up for you. Let you see what that looks like. Okay, so as you see the Waves tune, it basically has a little more spizzazz to it. But, uh... The sound, I'm going to do another video where I can pair both of these. But the sound, I have to say Logic is definitely winning on the sound. All right, so let's show you how this works. It's real simple. I have an acapella. And I'm going to play a little bit of it so you can hear it. Yeah, I want to be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty, baby. Cleanse me. I wanna be better for you. I've got to be better for you. All right. So now what we wanna do is all we wanna do is find the key of the song. All right. So I'm gonna find the key of the song. Yeah. I want to be better for you I need to be better for you I'm so guilty baby. Okay, so the key is F minor That's the key of the song So once we find the key, we're going to go up to the root Put it on F Then we're going to go to the scale And put it on natural minor and that's it. It's set up. Simple and fast like that. So let's hear it with the pitch correction. Yeah, I want to be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty. Baby, cleanse me. I want to be better for you. I've got to be better for you. Okay, so you see how the notes are moving and how it's correction, correcting the notes. I have it on medium. You have slow and fast. Now, the more you go towards the fast, the more you're going to hear it. 
I never really mess with the D-Tune unless you're looking for a certain type of effect, but I never mess with the D-Tune. I leave the D-Tune like it is. I just choose the scale, the root key, then what scale it's in. I don't mess with the range. And I don't mess with the reference pitch. It's pretty simple. Now, I'm going to play it and I'm going to move the response. This is the only key button you need to worry about, this response. So let's move the response and we're going to hear the sound that we get. Let's go. Yeah, I want to be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty. Baby, cleanse me. I want to be better for you. I've got to be better for you. Because you deserve better. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to let you hear it. I'm going to put it all the way on. And this is a lot of uh, singers out there today. <laughs> they need it all the way on. But let's listen to it. I want to be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty. Baby, cleanse me. I want to be better for you. I've got to be better for you Cause you deserve better Okay, so as you hear certain parts of it When I have the response very fast, right? That's going to give you the exaggerated auto-tune sound, right? Now, let's say I want to use that sound But I don't want it as much Then I can go in here and highlight or deselect the notes. So let's look at it. I wanna be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty. Okay, so let's deselect that C minor, right? Let's listen. I wanna be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty. Now, why did it do that? I don't know why it did that. Okay, so let's bring it back on F major. Natural minor. Okay, so that would be the D2. I want to be better for you. I need to be better for you. I'm so guilty. So you see, I hit the bypass. I don't know why I hit the seat, but I hit the bypass. There we go. Yeah. Hold on. Put it back on F major. Put it on natural minor. Boom. I want to be better for you I need to be better for you I'm so guilty Okay So let's unbypass it Now that's the exaggerated So let's just tune it to where to Most of today's vocals are tuned at And let's hear what it sounds like I want to be better for you I need to be better for you I'm so guilty Baby, cleanse me I want to be better for you I've got to be better for you Cause you deserve better Okay, so that's our video the Logic Pro X pitch correction. 
Me personally, I like it better than Auto Tune. I like it better than Waves Tune. As you see, it's real simple, and you can get the same exact desired effect. Also, you can use it on instruments too. But in Logic, I necessarily wouldn't use the pitch correction on instruments. I would pretty much go in here, go to pitch, and use the pitch shifter. And when you use the pitch shifter, if it's on instruments, you put it on, you can leave it on vocals and then you just put your mix at a hundred percent. That's how you would do uh instruments. But this is the pitch correction. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for tuning in. This is EK. I'm out.